All right, Lynn, I'm here at uh, 1830 Livonia. I'm on the, uh, the right side here. This is the entrance here. Uh, the door is uh, a little bit on the old side, needs to be refurbished, brought back up to shape. Um, the interior has a, uh, a smell of mold, uh, which you'll see in the kitchen once we get there. Uh, but basically we walk in, you see it's uh, carpeted on the floor which would need to be replaced. And then this is your living area here. Windows look to be intact. The normal uh, nails and things on the walls that would need to re be replaced, you know, small little holes and things of that nature. Obviously uh, everything would need to be painted as well. And then just off the living room area, you've got your kitchen back here, which has this uh, old vinyl flooring, probably original. Um, and then it has uh, this cabinet tree you can see down below. It's uh, broken off there. See where it's all dusty up top there from the fan never being cleaned. Uh, you've got your your range, which tough to know if it uh, if it works or not. And there's no power here. Uh, you've got your vent that's hanging off there that would need to be replaced. And then also down here below, you'll see where it's all been rotted out. So this entire. Uh, cabinet here is going to need to be replaced as well. And then back here off the kitchen is a uh, an extension that was added on at some point. And uh, it has a air conditioning unit there. So you can tell. Door to the backyard. So it's just a one big added room. Uh, the carpet's pretty filthy. Uh, I would say the carpet would need to be replaced as well. Uh, there is a little makeshift closet here. Uh, so you could use it either as a third bedroom um, or you could use it as a, uh, a larger living space. Uh, back here you can see where the, uh, the doorway really wasn't sealed properly. See that light coming in? That means uh, that means critters can come in as well. So uh, you'd want to have that taken care of there. And you can see you're missing a couple panes of glass there, or at least one. I'm missing a screen off of this window here. Coming back into the uh, into the home, tough to say if the if the appliances work, but there is a fridge here and the oven, uh, and that would be it. Um, the actual sink itself actually is okay, in decent shape, uh, but you can see in the back there, big separation between the Formica countertop there. Uh, they're pretty beat up. You probably want to replace the countertops. Uh, that piece entirely and some of these other built-in pieces are actually fine like these they just need to be uh, you know painted and cleaned up off the kitchen you also have your laundry there is a washer and dryer uh, the washer looks much newer than the dryer does so I'm guessing the washer is probably in decent shape here um, up above that's your attic crawl space there. There's no uh, no piece of plywood covering it over, so we'd want to have that addressed. And then you've got your hot water tank. Looks older. Tough to say if it's uh, operational or not. And then you've got off the living room area. You've got a bathroom. That old uh, vinyl flooring there. Uh, this piece here is uh, uh, is pretty much wrecked, so you're probably going to have to replace that, um, the whole countertop piece there. Um, and then in addition, let's see, we've got uh, 
a mirror that's in good shape. The light fixture looks really old and ratted out. Uh, you've got these pieces over the toilet which are look like they're in okay shape here. Uh, the door to the bathroom has a hole in it right there. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the the toilet, tough to say that works because the water's not on, but looks in like decent shape. Um, and then you've got some issues there where you're missing some tiles. Uh, overall, the shower is not in bad shape regarding the tile other than cleaning as well as the tub. So it needs a really good, uh, really good rub down. And that's about all the damage that's in here. Uh, going to the bedrooms here, you've got two bedrooms. Uh, same issue with the carpet, needs to be fully replaced. Smells like they probably had an animal in here, a dog or something. And that smell is just uh, stuck in the carpet. Uh, windows look like they're in decent shape. Or at least functional, I should say. Uh, the door here is pretty beat up and also the the molding to the door you can see where it's all cracked so we're gonna have to fix the molding to the door there uh, this door handle is gonna need to be replaced there and then the next bedroom over more of the same with the carpet. More of the same with the paint. Fixing up uh, a couple holes here and there in the wall. Uh, windows are intact. Uh, when I say they're intact, I mean to say they. I don't see any outstanding cracks or breaks, but I do not check them uh, to see if they're operational. That's something we'll do during the inspection. Um, the roof has some areas where you see some discoloration up here. Now that could be from an existing leak or it could be from an old leak. I saw in the permits that the roof was redone in 2001. Uh, so it's only 10 years old the roof. Uh, normally you get 20 to 25 years without any problems. Uh, so I'm not sure if we have an out outlying uh, roof leak or if um, if those are old stains that were just never painted over and taken care of uh, closet in here is in pretty good shape um, I haven't really seen a whole lot you can see up there probably some of the discoloration as well so I just don't know if that's an old or new problem there. Uh, we haven't gotten much rain if any uh, so it hasn't been raining in a while and so it's very difficult to say uh, if that's new or old without uh, there having been any uh, any issues or, or rain. And that is the, uh, the right side of the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video now and uh, give you uh, uh, take video of the left side. Alright, here's a picture of the front of the unit. Uh, the, this is the right unit still here. Uh, there is some wood rot down towards the, uh, the bottom there on both sides. So the framework to the uh, front door is going to need to be replaced and fixed. Uh, coming into the left side of the unit, uh, first thing I notice is some dirt and whatnot down here. Uh, which is consistent with uh, with potential termite problems, at least in the uh, the front door frame area. So we may need to replace these uh, door frames completely. Uh, this door here on the right is in much better shape than the the one on the left. Looks uh, much newer. You can see back here in the corner also where some of that wood rods occurring. So we'd want to have a termite inspection done here as well in addition to uh, 
the home inspection. Windows up front, uh, you've got, uh, this one is taped off, so there's some kind of issue there. I'm guessing uh, Windows broke, probably doesn't operate up and down, and they probably uh, duct taped it in there to keep bugs from coming in from the outside. Uh, same thing on this unit here. Uh, so I think there's a, a possibility we'd have to replace both of these windows up front. Uh, same kind of setup here. Uh, this is a much nicer unit uh, than the right side is. You can see it's got tile as opposed to the carpet in the main living areas. Uh, it has a much better off kitchen. It has all that um, as opposed to the right side where it was cluttered with that old shelving. You can see it's all been taken down and there's just one shelf there and it's painted over. It looks much nicer. Uh, you can see the fridge here. Uh, other than cleaning, I would say if you plugged it in, it looks like it probably work. Also has a uh, newer looking dishwasher, a newer looking range, microwave, cabinets in much better shape. All around in much better shape, sinks in much better sh shape, so are the countertops. Uh, this side here is going to require much less upkeep than the other side. Uh, you can see how that wa hot water tank here is much newer looking than the other one, much better shape. Uh, the laundry room in general in much better shape. There's your connection, no washer dryer in this, in this side of the unit. Uh, realistically, other than the front two windows probably needing some repair or replacement, um, and the door frame leading in, there's really not a whole lot that needs to be done uh, to this unit as far as uh, getting it up to speed. Um, up on the roof here, you can see where uh, they've done some patchwork at one point. I'm guessing this is old, just like uh, kind of discussed in the other unit, but that was patched up at one point for some outstanding issue. Um, coming into the rest of the home, you've got a basic closet here, and then you've got your bathroom. This one, again, much better shape. Your cabinets are usable. Uh, probably just want to resurface the uh, the actual wood sinks fine. The mirror you'd want to replace. You can see where it's worn out towards the, towards the edges there. Uh, the actual toilet looks like it's uh, um, probably functional. We just need to get some water turned on in here. You can see where they did some tile work. They didn't do the best of patch jobs back in there. But as long as it doesn't leak, you're fine. Uh, the rest of the tile actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, over here you can see where they had a towel rack and it's been since fallen off. There's one side and the other side. Uh, but overall the, uh, the tub's in good shape. So not too bad in here. And then you come out, you've got two additional bedrooms out here. Uh, the carpet is actually uh, not horrible. You could probably get away with keeping this carpet in here. I uh, don't really see a whole lot of staining. Um, really don't have a, have much in the way of smells. Uh, the closet here, you can see, is missing the closet doors, the little slider doors, which is not a big deal. You could probably rent it without having them there. And then uh, the walls here are. Uh, they were painted over white at one point. They're actually not in bad shape. Uh, windows are intact. Overall, I think you probably get away with not doing anything in this room. Um, even the door itself has been uh, painted over white as well. Doorknobs working. Uh, same thing with this next room over. Uh, come on in here. Uh, this one, the carpet, needs to be restretched. That's what those ripples are there. Uh, so you need to restretch the carpet. Windows, good shape. 
walls painted no holes no outstanding issues again uh, in this unit here you've got uh, uh, no closet doors but overall this room's in good shape also probably don't need to do anything in here uh, so really the only issue with this side uh, that I can tell at this point in time um, are those two windows up front you know and some uh, some minor some minor repairs so really most of the money is going to go into the other side unit now when you come outside uh, this door past the laundry room takes you uh, directly out back I'm gonna lock it up and uh, walk around the outside for you all right this is the view from the uh, uh, the outside it's actually a really large lot um, haven't seen a whole lot of issues uh, with the outside at all uh, walking around the soffits um, I have seen some areas where there might be a little bit of wood rot that would need to be addressed at some point in the future uh, here's the uh, the air handler unit for the uh, left side of the of the uh, duplex if you're looking at it from up front um, looks to be like in that bad shape this is the addition to the other side unit you can see the flat roof so you probably have a lot of stuff from these trees falling onto it my recommendation um, in order to uh, keep the property in much better shape would be to uh, cut back these trees you could see how all the pine needles fall on top of the roof that's gonna that's gonna really shorten the life of your uh, of your roof so I would say you would wanna cut cut back some of these to keep the uh, the debris from falling on your roof I'm not sure what's uh, what's underneath here and then there's also in the back uh, there's a, a garage that was built back here here's those big trees that are right next to it these are gonna be a problem at some point so you're gonna need to see about having them trimmed back and then here's your garage area here In real nice shape concrete floor so you could use it as a garage slash uh, work area and then coming around the other side uh, your AC unit out here is pretty old I'm guessing you probably need to buy a new one and then up above in the gutters there's all kinds of uh, stuff up in the gutters you're gonna want to get those cleaned out because of these trees so those are gonna have to all your gutters are gonna be have to have to be replaced or not replaced uh, cleaned I said I meant to say a little wood rot on the corner up there on your trusses hopefully you can see that all right you can see how it's peeling away a little bit on your trusses up there that would need to be taken care of um, again up towards the top as well and then some of these plastic coverings need to be replaced and some cosmetic work you can see how the decorative shutters there are kind of falling off uh, that's supposed to be a planter here so I don't know if you'd want to salvage that or have it ripped off again
and then you've got some ivy growing on there at some point you're gonna want to rip that off it's gonna really grow like wildfire and take over the front of the unit uh, this duplex is one block off the uh, the access road to 41 it's actually not a bad looking street uh, mostly uh, duplexes on this road and most of them are actually in pretty decent shape you can see the one across the street is actually pretty nice has a carport landscaping is real nice and then here's a picture of the front of the unit and you can see how much how many trees there are here and why that would be an issue for uh, for your roof but the actual roof itself other than the uh, the pine needles and whatnot being on top of it uh, looks pretty decent you might want to have it pressure washed but otherwise looks pretty good um, you know if you did some stuff with the landscaping out here with the grass uh, you can really have this one looking pretty nice I'm gonna go ahead and stop the uh, video now and uh, drive up and down the road and and give you a look of what the uh, the rest of the street looks like but overall uh, looks pretty good across the street there is a mobile home RV park and then uh, this is just empty lot next to you which I think could be a part of the uh, next door neighbors property all right here's a view from the uh, from the street uh, there's 1830 there's the property and uh, you'll get to see the uh, the rest of the neighbors here this unit here next to it is for rent uh, I believe I saw it in the MLS I think they were asking about uh, uh, 650 to 675 for these units here looks pretty similar in nature to the one right next door to it if not the same exact floor plan um, you can see how much uh, this one looks in pretty good shape we could uh, replicate the same thing uh, then we've got a single family home and the street dead ends on the end here and then coming through on the other side these are the houses across the street And that is Livonier. There's a couple side roads that are very similar to this uh, right down the street. A very quiet area uh, just off the main road, which is right down there.